Hello, welcome to the Tesla factory. You've just entered 5.3 million square feet. Just how big is that? Well, inside of this space, you can fit approximately 92 football fields or 45 billion hamsters. Let's go explore. This whole factory campus spans 370 acres. Outside of these factory walls, we have our test track. We also have our plastics facility. Take a look to the left. We're looking at some middle consoles. Just outside of these walls, we have a plastic center where we do the injection molding. Here at the Fremont factory, a talented team of over 10,000 employees working in tandem with our meticulous robots to build our all-electric vehicles from the ground up. Oh, it just got a little cooler in temperature. Do you feel that? Yes, that means we're getting ready to enter into our stamping center. Take a look around. Neatly organized on these different racks, in these different bins, different components of Model S, Model X, Model 3. If you're wondering what you're looking at, just read the perimeters of the racks. To the left of us, these are some Model X rear panel doors. But exactly how do we make these panel pieces? Well, the journey of our vehicles begins right here. Welcome to our stamping center. Your Tesla starts out as a giant roll of raw material. Could be as tall as six feet, weighing as much as 20,000 pounds. We then take these giant rolls of raw material and send them to a blanking machine. Yes, a blanking machine. We're gonna lay it flat and cut blank panel pieces. Let's go take a look. You are looking at our newest Schuler press dedicated to Model 3. This high-speed servo tandem line exerts an overall force of 7,300 metric tons. Our robots methodically move these blank sheets of raw material along the pressing line where they then come into contact with these giant metal structures. These are called cast iron dies. Or oh, take a look at that. You're, you're getting a glimpse of our coordinate measuring machine. The tip of that probe is a real ruby gemstone. Our machines can measure as small as three microns. Three microns, that's the equivalent of one red human blood cell. At Tesla, we do a high percentage of our stamping and our casting in-house. Uh, many benefits to that. One being uh, quality. We get to control the quality. Also, number two, creativity. These are all custom panels. And third, by uh, not contracting out a third party, it allows us to keep the cost down and translate those savings to our clients. All right, so once we have all of the casting components in stamp panel pieces, then what happens? Well, they transfer onwards to the body centers, which is where we're heading now. So how do we join all of the panel pieces and casting components together? We get a little help from our robotic colleagues. Our robots have seven axis rings, like a human arm performing a robotic ballet of precision. All the movements that you're seeing from our robotics completely customized, down to the millimeter. <laughs> Hi. Oh, okay, thanks. So we have spot welding robots, arc welding robots, friction stir welding, cold metal transfer, hello. Yes, our colleague right there just prepping the interior of these doors, Model S, Model X doors, look at that. It looks like foil, but it's actually sound absorbing material because our electric vehicles are incredibly quiet. To the left, you are getting an intimate glimpse inside of a Model X. And take a look at the robots that are bolted to the ceiling. Hanging upside down, we call the upside down robots, robots. Oh, take a look to the left, one of my favorite groupings of robots. Look at that, over a dozen red robots working in perfect millimeter harmony to affix the side body panels to the underbody of a Model X. Oh, look at that, how beautiful. We're doing some spot welding. Now, when we do spot welding with a high strength steel, you get those gorgeous sparks. Totally normal. Once the body panels and casted components have been welded, riveted, and bonded to create this unibody framework, we call it a body in white, which is an artist reference, meaning blank canvas ready for painting. 
Teslas get their vibrancy in our eco paint facilities. Our layered techniques create a smooth, brilliant finish. After the high gloss cures, the vehicles travel back inside the main factory for step three, general assembly. Oh, this Model X is trying to race us. Hi, Dee Dee. All right, you are looking at the heart of a Tesla. This is our motor, housing our namesake, Nikola Tesla's alternating current induction motor. On the other side, the inverter, and right there, that's the single reduction gear. That's it. This completely replaces an internal combustion engine and transmission. And we make these right upstairs in powertrain. Look at these little guys carrying some of our suspension components. And yes, these are electric robots. They inductively charge themselves. Take a look, that's a door elevator. Why are we going to be taking the doors off? Well, two main reasons. By taking the doors off, it allows us easier access into the vehicles to do the general assembly. The doors will be traveling up and then heading all the way directly over to door sub assembly. In general assembly, you're always going to see a higher concentration of our factory rock stars because there's a lot of variability and complexity to installing these internal components. For the heavy lifting, we have super bots. This giant red robot is named Wolverine. Why did we name our giant red robots after X-Men comic book characters? Why not? Actually, Elon is a huge comic book fan and we thought it would be fun. So, so let's take a look. Oh, there, there goes Wolverine. Stopping just in time is not to hit the roof and now Wolverine will expertly place that Model X onto a platform. That platform will then swivel around and then Iceman will take over from there. Iceman and Wolverine, two of the largest red robots at the Tesla factory and two of the largest red robots in the world. This is always fun when you're doing a tour and you're like, please. Help me, please move, please. Oh, take a look to the right. What's going on here? This is Angel. Angel is lifting up this Model S, placing it into an overhead carrier. And across the aisle, look underneath that Model X. A battery pack has already been married to the underbody. So that battery pack weighs hundreds of pounds, reinforcing the structural rigidity of our vehicle, providing low center of gravity for exceptional handling and also low probability of rollover. Oh, so what's going on here? Well, we're putting together the Model S, Model X dashboards. Jessica and the team putting together the dashboards and, you know, the centerpiece of our console, the touchscreen. Oh, we're just a uh, pause for some robot crossing. Yeah. And now for the tires. This automated system increases accuracy, efficiency, and safety. And as those wheels touch down, we say it's like a child taking its very first step. Tesla's looking pretty good, but what other essential components do they need? Oh, how about some seats right here in our seat bot? Where do we get our seats from? Well, we have our very own seat factory, just two miles from this main factory campus. Tesla is the only volume car manufacturer in the world to manufacture and fabricate its own seats. Hey, how you doing? Remember when the doors came off? Well, in perfect production sequence, same doors get joined back to the same exact Tesla. On one side of the factory, a giant roll of raw material comes in. The other side, a Tesla drives out. 